video to show you how to replace the coolant flange on the side of a 2.0 Golf engine. Um, we have a unique point of view since the engine is out of the car, but it's a good way that you can actually see how this whole thing is, is uh, put together. All right, so you notice along the valve cover there's a plate which needs to be removed and I think there's a nut over there and a nut over here. And even that's probably enough. Yeah, okay. So you can see the reason, and the reason we had to remove the plate is because in order to get the coolant flange, that pipe, that metal pipe has to be lifted. That pipe runs all the way, all the way across the front, okay, the front of the engine to the thermostat housing part of the block. Because you have to have enough a uh, clearance to to uh, be able to get that flange out. Yeah, because that pipe goes right onto that stud, which and that stud also holds the flange against the block. So the only way you're going to get the flange out is to get the pipe up in the air, and the only way you can get the pipe up in the air is to get that plate off the valve cover. That's why nobody else can make this video unless they've got the the uh, engine out of the automobile. So we'll continue on, but if you're trying to do this with the engine in place, maybe this can instruct you on, on exactly what it is that, that you are not seeing. Alright, so... In yeah. Okay. So that, it's, it's that has to come out that way, yeah. Yep. Right, because it's threaded on that end and it's a stud. And there's so, no threads on either so, side of the so, nut. Right, so that comes out in the bottom corner of that flange. Right there, which is towards the front, that's towards the front, of the, the front of the engine, the front bottom of the flange. So you took a nut off to get that right, pipe. Exactly. And once you move the pipe out of the way, then you've got to, then you've got to remove the nut that's holding the flange on. So this job is really easy if you decide to take your entire engine out of the car. <laughs> that's what I'd recommend. I mean, it kind of would be relatively exposed. So it's another stud. Okay, so it's another stud. Yes. Let's, let me it's see. Let's look at it. Thing. Oh, and it's an identical thing, so to now. I think it'll come out now. Oh, and there's a big, that's a big rubber O-ring. Okay, so let's, that's where the O-ring goes. But, uh, so at least you, you, you guys, if you can't otherwise see it or figure it out, that's the procedure to get this flange out. And then, of course, you have to disconnect the wiring harness and, and the couple lines that go to it. But significantly, you've got two studs. And the stud towards the top rear, you've got a nut. Then you have to, re then you have to remove, the, you've got a nut holding this pipe down. Then you have to remove the, the metal piece, wherever it is, floating around here. Then you have to remove this. Then you can lift the pipe up quite a bit. And then with the pipe up, you remove the, uh, the other stud. And then you can take the flange off. So I hope this helps. Good luck.